SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes COVID-19, has distinct club-like spike proteins protruding from its surface. These spikes latch onto cells in the body by binding to receptors on the surface. Once attached, the virus fuses with the cell, and the viral genetic material passes into the cell, where it is copied, producing more viral particles and causing more infection. Scientific research is underway to combat COVID-19 in different ways. Firstly, medicines that may treat the infection by stopping the virus from replicating, by suppressing the body's overactive immune response, or protecting it from serious complications such as organ failure. Secondly, novel coronavirus neutralizing antibodies that can bind to the virus and stop it from entering cells as a possible treatment to prevent or lessen the impact of COVID-19 disease. Lastly, a vaccine as a preventative approach. There are multiple approaches to vaccine development to prime the body's immune response to COVID-19. Using weakened viruses or viral proteins, or creating viral vectors with specific viral genetic code. Or using specific viral genetic code, either DNA or RNA directly. Viral vectors are engineered to prevent them from being able to replicate and cause disease, but can carry specific genetic material to deliver inside a cell. The vaccine is introduced into the body through injection. Encompassing the genetic material of the SARS-CoV-2 spike protein, the viral vector binds to the cell surface and fuses with the cell. Inside the cell, the genetic material is processed to form the spike protein, which is expelled out of the cell and into the body. B cell and T cell lymphocytes recognize the spike protein as foreign and start to multiply to form an army of identical B cells and T cells. B cells release antibodies into the circulation to bind to the virus and neutralize it. T cells help activate B cells or eliminate infected cells. Both B cells and T cells form memory cells that are ready for when the body is exposed to the virus at a later stage. Upon exposure to the live SARS-CoV-2 virus, the immune response is primed to neutralize the virus and reduce the impact of disease. <laughs>